how to sync your contacts with the Pinterest mobile app. Hey Pinners, it's Michelle Held from Pintalk.net. I'm gonna show you how to upload your contacts or sync your contacts with the Pinterest mobile app. If you like this video and find it helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get a notification every time there's a new video up and there'll be a blog post that goes along with this video on my website, Pintalk.net. So how did you upload your contacts to the mobile app? Well, first of all, why would you wanna upload your contacts to the mobile app? It makes it easier for you to find other pinners on Pinterest. There are two ways that you could go about this. Is one, you can upload your contacts or sync them, which is what I'm gonna show you, and it's on the blog post. Or you could follow somebody on Pinterest. A Little bit difference in uh, how the mobile app behaves after that, but let's stick to syncing your contacts and I'll discuss the differences between the two. So you're going to only be able to do this from the mobile app. It doesn't apply to desktop Pinterest. And why? It's because it's syncing contacts from your actual contact list or address book in, on your phone. So you'll have to do it from Pinterest mobile app. Of course, you have to have it installed. This goes for business Pinterest and personal Pinterest. Uh, most of our tutorials are for business, but this one works both ways and this makes it easier. So the reason why, so if you want to share a pin with somebody else, you'll be able to do that easier because when you hit the share button and you want to choose somebody on your list, they're right there. You don't have to go searching for their account on Pinterest. So really easy if you are on the mobile app, go and hit your icon in the lower right corner, which is your profile photo, and then hit the, the nut at the upper right corner, the hex nut. And you're going to the settings area, which is where we've been focusing on a lot of the past tutorials, is where we're going in and adjusting different settings based on what we want to do. So icon, hex on to the top, go down to settings, and then just scroll down only a few lines and you'll see store your contacts. It's a slider and you just turn that on. Pinterest will ask for permissions. They'll confirm again that you want to access your contacts. And then you just say agree to both of those. You don't really see any like long upload or anything going on. It just say yes, and then you can back right out of it. And then next time you go back to the mobile app and then you share a pin with somebody, you'll see that your contacts are all available. This is different than following somebody. And if maybe if you want have a data privacy concern, you might just wanna follow people that you know that are actually on Pinterest. And the difference is there, those people have to have Pinterest accounts as opposed to your contacts. You could share a pin and it sends off a message to them. A little bit different behavior there. And uh, keep in mind that your contacts, that even though you upload them from your phone, they will not be available on desktop Pinterest. So I hope you found this helpful. Check out the blog post on the website, pintalk.net, that goes along with this video. And follow me for Pinterest tips tricks and tutorials, a lot of Pinterest for business, and hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my newsletter off the website too, so you get uh, a weekly newsletter and a weekly video. Carry on, Pinners.